What's up, Burn Nation? Welcome back to the Burn Bootcamp Podcast. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the fitness industry and how it's changed over the years and what Burn Bootcamp has done to adapt to some of those changes and be the part of some of those changes. So, you know, Devin and I started this business in 2012, so a little bit over 10 years ago. And I would say that back then, it was really about how you looked and not necessarily at all about how you felt. And so what I've seen change, the biggest change that I've seen over the last 10 years is really the shift more towards the aesthetic of fitness and really the holistic side of how is your mental well-being? How is your physical well-being? How is your spiritual well-being, right? Like how are you doing as a human being? And fitness is just playing one part in that as far as it, uh, you know the workout goes. But to me, the companies that have been successful through this change and evolution of the fitness industry are those brands and those companies that have also taken consideration and care into their members' mental well-being, spiritual well-being, emotional well-being, and just that overall health and fitness. So how has Burn Bootcamp done this? Well, really since day one, we were about community. You know, we focused more on not just the workout itself and what we were doing in those 45 minutes, but how we were bringing people together in the community, how we were connecting them, how we, how we were empowering women to motivate each other and not be in competition with each other. And that is a big part of the fitness industry that is very scary, specifically for women, I believe. And so, you know, when Burn leaned into, it's about what you can gain, not what you can lose, right? And that's gaining friendships, that's gaining confidence, that's gaining a community that you maybe never had before stepping into your gym. So how has Burn Bootcamp done that? It's just leaning into community, leaning into making sure that we're treating people as actual people, right? And building goals that are realistic and supporting them and meeting them where they're at. And I think a big part of how we do that is through our, our community and our culture. So when you walk into a Burn Bootcamp, you're not gonna see any mirrors in our workout space because we understand that that can be a trigger for people, that can be sensitive for people to see how they look compared to somebody else in that mirror and in that reflection. So I think that's one way we really, um, we bring community together by the types of workouts that we do, whether that's a partner workout or you know getting in groups of four, meeting each other, saying each other's names out loud before we get, even get started in the workout. If you've been to a burn boot camp, you know that we're big on high fives and that that touch, right? That high five of, hey, I got you, you got this, let's do this together. And not that coldness and that staring and like no human connection that you can sometimes experience in, in, in gym um, cultures where it's not inviting, it's actually the exact opposite. And so if you think about somebody's mental and, and um, you know, their mental well-being and just their motivation and their confidence when they're walking into the gym that they're choosing to pay money towards, if it's making them feel worse about themselves because they are feeling that they're being compared to or they're feeling like they're um, not invited and welcomed into that space, how is that gonna help them reach their goals? How is that gonna help them um, achieve confidence and, and gain confidence that they can use outside of those four walls um, to become who they want to be? And so. Burn Boot Camp has always leaned into meeting people where they're at. You know, it's making sure that they don't feel out of place in a fitness level perspective and that we're not just showing people that can do the mod up and the crazy stuff and breaking the PRs, but we're also celebrating the first time you do a push up, you know, on your, on your toes or we're, we're celebrating the first time you do a double under. We are celebrating the small and the big achievements with all of our members and we're making sure regardless of your fitness level that you're gonna have a place here and we're gonna give you an exercise and we're gonna make sure that you're supported through that entire workout and so you don't feel out of place. Because again, the more out of place you feel in a space and in a community, the less likely you're gonna go and be able to reach your goals and ultimately achieve that confidence and um, you know, that next version of yourself that you are looking for. So, you know, brands and, and, and industries constantly evolve. And I, as a CEO of Burn Boot Camp, am always looking to evolve with the industry, but also remain really true to who we are because other brands can get in trouble when you aren't authentic to who you are. And if you're gonna just do shiny things because it's the buzz right now, but it's not true to who you are and who your culture is and who your member is and what made you so great in the first place, if you get far away from that, then you don't become you know, a place that people wanna be because it doesn't feel authentic. So it's my job, it's Devin's job, it's our leadership's job, it's our 
system's job to protect this culture that we have built, this community that we have built. And as we open up more gyms and as we go you know, global and as we do all these fun and amazing things that we have our sites set on, remaining true to who we are and making sure that we're keeping that member in mind. And that's how we evolve as a company is always getting that feedback from the system. Because if you're constantly making decisions in a room with only 10 people around a table and you're not considering who you're serving, then you're, you're likely going to make the wrong decision. You're gonna make a decision that is based on um, not listening to what your member needs and listening maybe to just what you personally need or those people sitting around the table. So getting the feedback, listening to our members, understanding what their needs are, understanding what their gaps in their life are and helping them fill those gaps, right? Educating them on nutrition, edu educating them on um, different meals to make, building products and supplements that can fill in the gaps for good nutrition for them, being a brand that they can trust to come to, to get mindfulness, you know, to get their workout in, but get so much more. And so that's, that's really where I see the fitness industry continuing to evolve is supporting that member through their entire life journey and not just one segment of it. Um, so I'm excited about where we've gone. I'm excited about where we're going. And again, I think it's all about remaining true to who you are and making sure that the changes that you are making ultimately comes down to asking yourself, is this helping my member get happier and healthier today? So if you're a brand or if you're a leader or if you're thinking about you know, starting your own company in the fitness industry, I would really lean into who is that member that you wanna serve? What do they look like? What do they need? What do they, what do they need that they don't have that you can help solve for them? And how do you continue to get that 360 feedback of how you can evolve, but not evolve to the point where it no longer is what fires you up every single day. So thank you guys for listening. Hope you have an awesome day. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and you will never miss an episode. Two claps on two, one, two.